Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're going to be playing Unknown Little Killers and you've got Sleuth here just rounding the corner for potentially an unknown little killer I mean you can see somebody fully disguised as a ninja covering their head, features, face and are poised to strike now fingers crossed Sleuth here is going to round the corner well not round the corner, he's going to sort of realise that he's in danger and maybe back up a bit Fingers crossed, that's not what we have in store for today, but it is a very interesting puzzle. I've not quite seen one like this before, but uh, let's take a look at today's puzzle and rule set. So we've got Unknown Little Killers by GB Pack, and uh, two rules really. The first one is um, Irregular Sudoku. Uh, we've got a 6x6 six six grid, so that means place the digits 1 to 6 once each in every row, every column, and every region, which you can see is a little bit irregular shaped and not necessarily consistent either. Then we have this unknown little killer part. So digits along the indicated diagonals sum to the number given. So uh, we've got diagonals here representing the little killers and we don't actually know their values. And I'm not sure that the wording here is telling us that they're the same value. So a question mark represents a single digit from 0 to 9. Right, so there is 0 to 9, so it's inclusive of 0. The leading digit of a two-digit clue may not be a 0. All right, okay. So obviously these clues are not going to be zeros because they're a single digit. And they are going to be digits 1 to 9 because, I mean, I mean, come on, we're adding up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cells. We're not going to get to 0. Same in here and same in there. And I don't think it's necessarily saying that they're going to add up to the same value. What I think it's saying, and very deliberately with the wording, represents a single digit from 0 to 9, is that this two-cell little killer clue, which is adding up to a two-digit value, um, GB Pack is explicitly saying the leading digit of a two-digit clue may not be 0. So, um, but it can be 10, because we are allowed to actually have a 0 in there, but it doesn't actually have to be 10. It could be 11 or 12, presumably, if this is 5, 6 or double 6. So, interesting rules. Um, I'm not great at irregular Sudoku. Uh, we'll see how not great I am in a second as I start to solve. Uh, as always, if you want to solve this yourself, link will be in the description down below um, for you to play along. And hopefully, you're going to save Sleuth from rounding that corner and being taken out by this unknown little killer. With that said, I'm going to restart the clock, see how I get on. So my temptation immediately with a regular Sudoku is to do a bit of colouring. So if you take a look at like column one, for example, and this region in particular, this cell here has to appear in column one, and it can't repeat in the same region. Therefore, it has to be this cell to be in column one. So these two cells are the same. And we can just, we can keep doing this in a few places. Hopefully we can keep doing this in a few places. Such as this cell here, for example, has to be in column six. It's not in these cells. It's not in this cell because it can see it with normal Sudoku rule. So these two cells are the same and they're different because this is purple seeing blue. And this cell, same sort of setup, these cells are not it because they're in the same region and it's not blue because it can see it, so it's this cell here, and it's a different cell from purple and blue, they're all in the same row. It'd be fantastic if we can colour the entire thing. This cell here has to be one of these two, which could be up there. I mean, it's not blue or green, but it can be purple if it's up here. Not too sure. Not too sure at all, actually. Um, what? Sorry, I'm I'm having like a, a 
brain freeze here. I'm just trying to understand what's going on. So, I mean, these two cells are the same. Right, that's that is that is helpful. I'm going to go with yellow because they're not blue and green. So, I mean, sorry, I should have looked at this region. And this cell here obviously has to be in, in row six, and it can't be in the same region. It's got to be in here. Now, because these two cells are the same, they also see blue, green, and purple. So it is yellow. Can I put yellow anywhere else, really? I'm not sure I can. Can't blue, put blue and green in here. One of these two is purple. This is... I'm sure I can, you know, persist and keep looking at the irregular parts. I mean, these two in particular stand out because I know that they have to be here and here. Um, and this cell, for example, is not blue, green, or yellow. Challenges, it can be purple and it can be up here. So not brilliant in that regard. Huh. Where am I going next? Apologize if you guys are already seeing it and I'm not. I'm just going to... I'm going to do something odd. I'm going to just flip to letters for a second. I'm going to call this A and I'm going to call this B. And we know that these two are from A and B. Now this cell here could be yellow and it could be up there. And this cell could be purple and it could be up there. What's interesting is that even if it is yellow or, yeah, this is not helpful, right? Maybe it is time to think about the little killer clues. Maybe that's the way to go about this. Sorry about this. Um, you see, like, um, one thing, so I'm fairly sure the next step is little killers, but at the same time, I'm finding it a bit of a challenge to sort of link it all up. Sleuth, sleuth, sleuth. We've ignored this region. Right, this is green. Right, this is now more interesting. This is now a lot more interesting. And I'll explain why. This diagonal has to add up to a single digit. And look at this, we were already at three different digits. So I'm already at a minimum of, let's assume for a second yellow, this is the absolute minimum, is one plus two and three. So I'm already at seven and I have eight and nine. These also have to be one and they have to be yellow. So essentially I've got four ones, two and three, and that gets me to nine. Right, this is now more interesting. Okay, how does that help? So this cell now, and this cell, neither of them are yellow. This cell in particular can still be purple, but this cell is not... Oh, it's none of them. This is unique. This is a new cell. This is orange. Because it's not purple, blue, green, or yellow that's already in the same region. So this is new. And it's in one of these two cells. Right, right, right. Okay. Right, let's let's carry on using the new information that we have here. This is two or three. This is two or three, because again, this is four plus five. It would add up to nine. That's the maximum. Now, this can't be a one. In fact, where is we can finish ones, we may as well. That's one, that's one, that's one's done. And if we take a look at this diagonal next, 
because you can see that this is already at least a four. It's not two or three or one, that's already a four. And because neither of these could be a one, this is a minimum of two. With a four, I'm already at eight. So there's one degree of freedom, which means that could be five to get me to nine. That can't be, well, um, I mean, there are two threes. No, there are twos. I really should sort of articulate what I'm not doing here. They're both not green. They're both purple because green can see both of these cells. Now, it means that they're both the same digit. If they're both three plus a four, that's already 10. I've broken this puzzle. So this is a two. And these are threes. And this is four or five. Right. Can I do a bit better now? Um, I don't know what this is. I'm going to ignore the orange. Um, where does three go in here? Right, three can't be any of these cells. That's three in this region. Three is in one of these two cells in here. How many? And three is in one of these two cells in there. And this makes this diagonal very interesting. That has to be a four, a double four. Because this cell here is not one, two, or three. This cell here, which is part of this diagonal, is again not one, two, or three. Now, if it's anything other than a double four, we've broken it. Because, again, we'll be adding up to more than a single digit. So this is a double four that makes blue a five, which we can afford to, to be fair. Given that this is adding up to nine. We can come back to that in a second. But essentially, this is four, five, six. It was never a three. We need to get to two digits, if you remember. If I have a three in here, even if I maximize this with a six, that only gets me to nine. So that was a silly pencil mark all alone. I'm sure you guys spotted this earlier. So this is four, five, six. That is not a four. This five tells me that this is a six. This is a five. That is no longer a four. I could still have a double five and get to 10. Remember the very specific language that we have in here. But I'm sure we can do a bunch of Sudoku now just to finish up. Right, where does four go in this column? It can only be in here. This is now a two. Actually, two is I can probably finish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I need a five and six in here. That five tells me that's the five, that's the six, that's the four. Four was orange, apparently. This is a six. This is now a five. This is indeed ten. This is five or six. I don't know. This is a six. I do know this is a five, this is a six, this is a four, this is a six. And if I've not made any mistake, that is a four for the finish. That is a lovely puzzle, GB pack. Um, I think he definitely, like, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure the solution path that I took was necessary. I think he needed to actually color things, realize that these had to be the same, then you can sort of flip to the little killer. So you actually needed to do a bit of coloring. You just have to realize when to give up on coloring, especially when you're going to have to go down the flashing and all of that. I mean, the irony is, yes, the two was indeed a purple, this cell. And this one was the one that was down here, but it it was different. Anyhow, long story short, hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle and the video. Aside from the odd mental block that I was having every now and again just not seeing certain regions like that one here or that one there that was embarrassing or pencil marking a three aside from those it was a lovely solve <laughs> hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle in the video see you back for the next one bye bye for now